Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about power grades, how to set them up, what they're for and why they're so good. Power grade is a way in DaVinci Resolve to save a certain node structure with or without edits, whatever you prefer. So you can use it across multiple projects with the click of a button. So if we jump into DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, and how to bake it into your DaVinci Resolve so your color grades can be that much quicker. As you're working as a colorist or you're developing more color grading skills, you're gonna find a sort of node structure that works for you that you're gonna be using most commonly across all your grades. Obviously every grade is different and it will require different node trees. But for me, I sort of found a formula that works for me and it was basically this one. I've got this one and I've got a few others that I really like using that uh, help me achieve the grades that I want. Here we have a project open that I worked on recently, Argento Spanish Horses. This is one of my favorite projects that I've done so far. I absolutely loved this scene we're looking at here. It's one of my favorite color grades I've done. So rather than building out the same node tree every single time, we can use power grades to save that node tree so we can quickly apply it, literally with the click of one button after we set this up to apply it to other scenes. So in the color tab, yours might be open. It might be something like this. I don't know how you've got to set it up. The first thing we can do is make sure we've got our gallery selected up here. That is the default setting for DaVinci Resolve, so it should be open. And you just want to click the Still Albums button just here. Now, I've already got this folder set up. If you do not have a Power Grade folder, all you've got to do is right click on the tab here and then go Add Power Grade Album and it'll create a Power Grade Album for you. As you can see, I have lots of Power Grades already available for me to use. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will create a new Power Grade album so you can see what it looks like when it's completely fresh. So I've completed this color grade just here and I really want to save this. So what I'm going to do is right click on the image, go grab still and it's already there. Nice and easy. I've already saved this color grade and made it a power grade so it's shareable across all projects in DaVinci Resolve. So now with the click of a button, I can really simply recreate this. So if I delete this whole node structure, we're back to our log and I just click middle mouse button on this it's gonna instantly add that in. We can go from our log footage all the way back to our grade in the click of a button. Super useful if you've got a lot of scenes across the same sort of lighting in the same situation like this. So you can apply it really quickly. But the real value I find is when you've built out a node tree. So let's get rid of this. And I'm gonna build out my favorite sort of node tree, which is usually three nodes, which is usually my noise reduction, color space transform, then we've got contrast, saturation, and then look. I usually do three nodes. I find it usually good for the look. There might be four or five if I've got skin. Global adjustment, and then down here, I've got a few just for vignette and effects. This is probably my standard color grading node tree. It's what I use for all these sort of talking head YouTube videos, and it's what I use for a lot of my client grades as well, depending on the scene, but if they're outdoorsy like this, I usually find this will cover 99% of the bases. So I would love to stop building out this node tree every single time. What I can do is go right click on this still, grab still, and it's gonna pop up in there in the ungraded version. And then what I can do if I get rid of these again, I can click on this and all the node in the same structure is there for us with all the values that you banked into it, which in this case is obviously zero. So I know that that node structure is there for me. So why is this so powerful? For me, when I'm doing these YouTube videos, I have the same lighting set up. It doesn't differ very much. Sometimes I shoot in the daytime with the window open in the background, but most of the time I've got, I've got a sort of accent light in there. I've got a key light up here and I've got another, I fill light over to the left of me. I know exactly what this scenario is gonna be that I'm shooting in here and it doesn't change too much. So for me, I can grab, if we go into my power gray window, I've got a couple of these already saved in here and I can just click that button, click the middle mouse button, it's gonna apply that to me really quickly, make a couple of fine adjustments and I've got a professional grade on my video in seconds. So if you're someone that shoots a lot in scenarios like this, YouTube talking head, or maybe you've got a business that you work with consistently on a freelance basis, and you've sort of dialed in their colors and their sort of gray that you like using for them, and the conditions don't change much, you can use this to save you a bunch of time in the edit. Very, very powerful tool. This was a quick one, guys, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're using the power grades because this tool can be used across all your projects. It won't just be saved in the project that you saved it into. It's across all of DaVinci Resolve when you get to your color grade, so it is extremely helpful, and it's a massive time saver. If you enjoyed this tip, guys, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. Lots more DaVinci Resolve goodness coming up for you guys so you can start building out your expertise in the platform because for me, I believe it is the best editing program out there at the moment, and it is the best color grading software out there, hands down. That's not an opinion of mine. I think that one is just facts. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.